making it obvious. I just got the check for the positive. 750 for the sound wave to get it processed. Won't stop till that shit weighing down my pockets. My main thing's still my main thing. She a blossom. When she ease the pain with the brain, she a doctor. She open up, then a thing thicker than the plot gets. Swear that shit is awesome. Sight for the optics. Young nigga on top. Nike's all I'm rocking. So that all they see is checks from where the head to where the socks fit. So, discernment. Possibly the most important word I've come across when learning anything. The reason it's so important to me is because it's helped me decide whether I'm wasting my time or not when I approach learning something new. Now, just over three years into learning painting, I've decided to develop my discernment and test where I am now from where I began. So this painting I'm about to show you is a remix of the first painting I ever made just over three years ago. With the aim being to see what's changed in my approach, uh, in how I think about the work, in, in how I lay down the paint, in how I construct an image. And of course, most importantly, to just have fun making art I like. So by discernment, I mean the ability to distinguish or differentiate or tell apart something. And when I say discernment, when I'm learning something new, it's actually a system I have that allows me to accurately judge a few things. So when I'm learning something new, like painting, the first thing I do is I try and learn who is good and who isn't. And what I'm figuring out there is the hierarchy of good painters and not so good painters. The thing I do immediately after that is judge where I sit in that hierarchy. So my goal usually is to just throw myself in all guns blazing, try my absolute hardest at it and just see where I sit when I've tried my best. From then, I can pretty much gauge if it's something that is worth pursuing or not. And with painting it was. So the next step that came was seeing where I could reach in the hierarchy. How high up could I raise myself? When I had a rough idea of where I wanted to be, I set my sights a little higher than that. So I always try and overshoot where I think that I'm capable of reaching. From there, it's a now a fairly simple process of just breaking down that journey from where I am to where I want to be into manageable steps. And then I just approach each step. And every time I do one and I meet a checkpoint, I just say, okay, cool, how did I feel about that? How long did it take? Could I try and reach further next time? Or do I need to minimize the amount I'm doing for the, for the next checkpoint? And that's what's happened in the last three years. I've been going through these checkpoints. So I established the things that I'd said in the beginning, and now I'm just trying to get to where I think I can get to in this hierarchy of painters in the world, really. And this painting isn't necessarily me trying to get to a certain point next. It's just trying to establish how far I've actually come. So the idea was, I take the same subject that I made for the first painting. I don't look at my original painting that I made and I just see how I approach making this image now. And I had the best time. It was amazing. And I approached it completely differently to the original. Um, not just how I played with the materials, but the type of image that I was making, how comfortable I felt making it. And even things like losing the drawing or or making the drawing a bit proportionately wrong in the beginning. Um, things like that didn't stress me, like getting, making these quote unquote mistakes um, or failing. I really just had a lot of fun with this. And, and I don't think there's a, a huge philosophical lesson that I, I've, I've gauged from, from this experience, but I think what I have learned is that I'm making the images that I want to make now. And I think right now I'm in a very appreciative mood of what it is that I'm able to do each day and create and spend my time doing. This painting along with others will be for sale on my website and my Instagram, my social media very soon. So check out my socials, um, link to my website and Instagram down below. Um, more art and more fun coming soon. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.